Wow, good morning guys from the beautiful Son Cool Lake here in Kyrgyzstan. It's about 8 a.m. I've just woken up coming from the extremely dark interior of the yurt into the bright sun like I feel like I have been blinded. I can't see much just yet. Anyways, last night I had, well, the sleep in the yurt which was absolutely, absolutely incredible. We went into the yurt, it was nice and warm with the fire on and then, you know, you could take off some of the layers because it was ice cold outside. And this morning I woke up and obviously it had already cooled down a little bit in the yurt. But it was just so nice and cozy and it was so quiet before sleeping being able to see the stars and stuff like that was pretty incredible anyways for today it's time to start getting ready because we're going to have breakfast and then we're going to explore a bit of this lake because we're going to go on a horse ride which i'm really excited about but first i need the toilet <laughs> Well, all freshened up, clean my face, brush my teeth, all of that. Very nice, feels good. I slept so well in the yurt last night. Um, just from it being so silent, it did cool down and I do like sleeping in like a cooler room. So that was really nice. And also I've been extremely tired lately. So to get a sleep of over nine hours was truly a blessing. Anyways, for now, I'm gonna walk down to the Sonko Lake Go dip my toes. <laughs> hey, morning, puppy. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello, morning. Yeah, so you got all these shepherd dogs everywhere. They seem friendly, but they also know they have a job to do. You can see very clearly that they know that they have a job to do. So, yeah, you can hear them quite often. Oh, here yeah, they're following me. Hello. Oh, why are you walking into me? Okay, so this other one behind me bit the one that just ran into me yesterday over a bone. So I think he's coming here for my protection. Hello, Papito. Hello. Okay, but I'm gonna go down to the lake. What'd you do? You're gonna join me. You're gonna join me. So apparently I have a friend with me today. Definitely looks like I have a friend of mine. <laughs> well, this looks like some water pump. Getting fresh water out of the ground. Very nice. This, also, this morning also when uh, brushing my teeth, the water was ice, ice cold, um, which was really nice and refreshing because I felt a little bit grudgy. I'm not quite sure if that came from like the having a fire on in the yurt. Could potentially be because I can feel like also my uh, airways a little bit. Not too bad. It's not like I'm dying, but you know. Anyways, having the cold water after that um, was really nice uh, to wake up. Okay, well there we go. I'm almost at the lake. And um, before we get into it, I don't actually want every video to become about trash, but unfortunately, this is the sad reality of every single place I'm going now. Like, what did I just pick up in five seconds? We have seven cigarette buds. It's like, why? You know, again, you're out in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Water, mountains, grass fields, animals, and you leave your cigarettes on the floor. I really don't get that. Anyways, I wanted to start this video on a positive note. Well, let's start the morning with a refreshing dip. Well, toe dip. <sighs> oh, wow. <laughs> that is so ice cold. I do want to say that if you missed my video, my last video, I would suggest watching that first because that is the whole adventure of getting here to Sonkul. I even go swimming in this beautiful lake uh, and uh, it will give you a little bit more insight of like what the first day was compared to what today is. But I'll give you a little bit of a recap on this epic, epic, epic lake. This is the second largest lake in Kyrgyzstan. 
uh, after Isak Gul. During the winter is absolutely inaccessible due to heavy snow and the temperatures here drop down to minus 20 cel degrees Celsius. So you can imagine that this lake <laughs> is ice, 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 ice cold, but it is extremely beautiful. I mean, you can see straight through to the bottom. It is super clear, it is super clean. And um, yeah, just the backdrop of the mountains and everything behind that. I think is absolutely absolutely incredible i'm here towards the end of the season so the usual season is june towards october but already they're taking some of the yurts down now and uh, i'm here in september so if you do come you won't be able to come to this place uh, in this the winter months because the road to get you is inaccessible and also it's going to be way too cold so there will be no yurts open okay, just walking with these cold heats on the rocks to breakfast we've got some nice warm tea it looks like we've got a porridge going on again breads and jams thank you and uh, all of that thank you so this looks like, yeah it's like a porridge and then lots of fruits and sweets and all of that type of stuff which uh, it looks really good again yeah so I don't know if I'm being blackmailed or not but I've already been forced to eat a boiled egg now they're telling me if I don't have the butter that I might be cursed so it looks like we're having butter as well Let me give you guys a little explanation on what, what you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody almost walked into the wrong way. I did this yesterday as well. So what you'll need to know about coming here and like the stuff to bring if you're going to be here for a few days. Like obviously today we're going to be doing some horse riding. So that's a fun activity we're going to go see uh, around the lake. But um, yeah, just to be prepared about the weather. So during the day it is warmer. So it's still warming up at the moment. But I think yesterday it was around 17 degrees. Uh, but the sun is very strong, so I would definitely advise to bring suntan lotion, which I didn't put on yesterday, so I got a little bit red, but today it's SPF 50 for my face. Um, also some lighter clothing, just for when it does warm up, and then definitely bring warm clothing. So what I actually had on last night were my leggings, um, like pants over that, socks, uh, a shirt, a jersey, a sweater, and uh, a jacket, and a beanie just all to stay warm and then also because it's going to be quite uh, chill when you're up here like you don't have <laughs> obviously like different type of place you can go to because it's just you the yurts the nature and the people that you're with so I brought a book and a journal just to chill out I can see people outside of playing football um, but just uh, yeah so that you can relax and enjoy something to do and then also bring a bathing suit so if you are uh, courageous enough to get into the Sonko lake bring a bathing suit uh, and just be prepared that afterwards it's going to be quite cold, so bring a towel and something warm to wear again. Okay, well, let me show you guys around. This is my very messy bed, but I still need a pack. A yurt comes with 45 beds, so you will be sharing it with other people. Um, I actually slept with two sisters and their mom, which is really cool. We've got quite a good click. And then here in the middle, uh, slept one of the guides. Here you have the fireplace, and at night it gets put on. Uh, yesterday we already had it oh electric shot we already had it put on and um, then it already started cooling down so we had asked if they could put it on uh, for us again and it stayed warm well I guess until like four or five in the morning and then after that uh, it cooled down but then the sun is going to start coming up and it will start warming up again so that's really nice um, but this is definitely ideal for those cold nights uh, out here we have like the swings and stuff we have a basin where you can wash up and wash your hands all the different yurts and then over here is the the kitchen area and then this inside of here is our dining room area so hey guys sorry um so yeah this is where we were eating our meals which is nice and warm oops close the door again <laughs> And then as we walk further along, I mean, wow, in the background over there, all you see is horses and cattle and stuff like that. And then over here, those two cabins 
are for the toilet. As you can see here, they're busy setting up the horses for the horse riding, which is really nice. And then here's a friendly puppy that joined me to the lake this morning. Hi, baby. Hello. Hey. Yeah, this one is really friendly. Hello. <laughs> are you going to take it? Hey. I'm going to take the GoPro. Yeah? You want to take the GoPro? Really friendly. There are also two different types of toilets. The other toilet is a normal one. This is a squat and drop, I call it. You'll see these type of toilets um, throughout Kyrgyzstan as well. They're not the toilet seats that you're used to in um, Europe. It's a hover and drop. <laughs> Let's get back inside where it's nice and warm. So there are different ways that you could get up here and that is you could go well, get you by yourself, like rent a car and come up or travel with uh, public transport to a place called Kochkor and then come up here. There are other ways as well. I booked this group tour, which was four and, a, uh, four and a half thousand SOM, which I believe is around like 50 euros or something like this. And it's a really chill group and um, the meals are included. So the uh, lunch when you arrive, the dinner that you arrive and the breakfast like today, uh, which is very nice. And, but you could also opt for a private tour. For me, this is just like way out of budget at the moment um, because a private tour for two days would cost you around 50,000 SOM. So that is a huge increase again in, in the price where I really don't mind doing the group tours and it's a really nice way to get to know people as well. Um, but there are different options of coming here, you know, with public transport and um, and stuff like that. But you can't, I, I don't believe that you can come straight to Sonko with public transport. Like you would have to go into one of the neighboring villages such as uh, Kochkor and then from here travel up. Okay, so I'm getting a water drinking demonstration. <laughs> it's by the lake. Okay, so go there after. Okay. So you have to go all the way to Water Lake. And I used to do it when I was very, very small. So you get the thingy. See? You get the thingy. The one. <laughs> With this thing. Oh. You go to the Water Lake. You pump it. You pump it very hard. And I was Tana. <laughs> you pump it. You put it. Then you want to try this water? So this is oh, water. This is the fresh water? Yeah, oh. the fresh water. So and then here is, here is the water. Ta -da. Do this. Take out something like that. I you do actually there, but I'll make it something easier. Okay. And drink the fresh water. Okay, so this is the fresh water that we saw in the water pump earlier this morning when I went down to the lake. It's different, right? It is different. It's fresh water. It's fresh water. Mm. The water by the pump, I think, was still ice cold, so it doesn't, it's not as ice cold as like. Because it's from the, I think, few days ago. From, yeah. The, you can't find water anywhere here, like, so they mm. fill it up here. Wow. <laughs> nice. But okay, so just like a bit of a background story. You come from Kyrgyzstan originally. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and now she's living her best life in Dubai. <laughs> Hell yeah, no water pumping guys. <laughs> yeah, I was already looking at this boiler and wondering what it is. But so this is like the water boiling probably. Mm -hmm. And this is where you make the tea. And this is where they make uh, the tea. Oh, and the tea was good, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, clap. Okay, so there are going to be two groups that are going to do the horse riding. The one is going now and the other, oh, sorry, will go a little bit later. So it's like 10 and 11 uh, o'clock. Anyways, the girls already had invited me to have some beer with them, which I thought they were joking <laughs> because uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. But then as we were watching the other people getting settled up to go on their horse ride, I thought that they were drinking tea, but they are drinking beer. So, I've got my bowl slash cup. Looks like we're gonna start the day with the beer. <laughs> well, it's not happy hour anytime. <laughs> In Bali, we started breakfast. After breakfast. With <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some top up. <laughs> top, I've, I haven't even had a sip yet, but okay, top me. <gasps> Yeah, this is the last one, you know, you shouldn't leave it. <laughs> okay, it well, will curse? <laughs> <laughs> it will curse, you just like the butter. Okay, well now we can do cheers properly. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay, well we've arrived at a car. I've just been invited to try horse milk. This is a whole boot 
filled with horse milk. <laughs> um, and after the sour milk balls that I tried yesterday, which you can see in my previous video, I am very skeptical of this because <laughs> I've already heard... See, they're already laughing at me. There's... Oh, I don't know if I want it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Wow, that looks very interesting. This is real hummus, okay? Not mixed like in the city from the mountains. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, guys, I really don't want to do this. Mm. One. Okay, I'm going to stay open minded though, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. Hmm. It's not bad, is it? It's not what I thought that it would taste like. The thing is, like, I was going to. I was in my head thinking sour milk, sour milk, sour milk. It's not sour. Like, it is. It is a milk product, but it tastes very, very different to... She said it's no longer caramel. sour because now it's September. During the summer, it is sour. Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> it's okay. Actually, the second sip was a lot worse. <laughs> Okay, you can yeah. Have some water if you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not my favorite thing to drink at all. I was trying to like take a second sip to really understand the taste. But um Oh no. <coughs> oh no. But it's not it's not sour. Like it tastes a little bit fatty. Mm, and now I still gotta go ride a horse. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I'm so excited for this. I think the last time that I rode a horse was actually in Colombia through the forest with uh, the guys from Cueja Sabaje. Uh, but this is, of course, a completely different atmosphere. We have the lake, we have the mountains, really beautiful. Let's go for a drink. Enjoy the fresh water, buddy. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Okay, well, I definitely think it is time to start wrapping up this video. We have just had lunch and finished the horse riding, but we will be heading to Bishkek soon, so we have to pack our stuff. One tip definitely don't leave anything behind because whatever is left behind will stay behind but I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful and that you got a bit of insight of what it is like to stay here in the yurt camp in Sonkul. I really want to thank you for joining to the end of the video if you enjoy these type of videos and you want to see more videos here in Kyrgyzstan hit the subscribe button because I'm still going to be here for a bit and otherwise guys I will see you on the next adventure bye <laughs>